Since the 1970s, Channel 2 on the Time Warner cable system has been Portland's public access television facility. We recently held an open house for budding producers to show them how to go beyond watching television and actually make television. Tom was there and had this report. Residents of Portland and other interested guests visited the Portland Public Access Television Station for a recent open house. Arthur Nichols, public access coordinator, gave an overview of what public access in Portland is all about. I just wanted to say uh, or give a, a little introduction, describe what community television is about and uh, the ways that people can access this place. Arthur also talked about the history and the purpose for access facilities such as Portland's. The government said that the cable operators have to provide access to the public. Portland Public Access is on Channel 2. It's visible only in the city of Portland. If you're interested in building community, it's a very powerful tool. TV is a very powerful medium. And in the city of Portland, you can access this facility to learn how to use uh, video equipment and to uh, produce video that can then be cable cast on Channel 2. When somebody walks in the door and they say they want to learn how to make TV, generally we offer them a variety of classes so that they can learn skills um, and it includes studio skills and as well as post-production skills which for the most part means editing and uh, but also uh, field production skills use of portable equipment. After Arthur's talk he showed a series of clips from programs that Portland residents have produced. Just to give people an idea of the range of material that people have been producing here over the last 25 years. Good day. Welcome to Intrepid Travels. I'm your host, Bruce McTooth. This train is bound for glory now. This train there are still some other courts across the state that have reduced public hours due to vacancies caused by state budget cuts. Welcome to the show. Uh, we are uh, looking forward to conversation and music and uh, I'm also going to try to remember this time to uh, let you know about some things that might be coming up. <laughs> Hello, I'm in Scarborough today with Carmo Saunders. You're an actress, a writer. I'm a playwright and an actress and and accidentally I'm Maine's only supermodel. I took my camera to Maine's northern rivers where there had been many recent sightings of them. Papa's got a brand new bag. Hey! Come down, Mama! Westbrook, Maine, as we all know, I saw a limousine with a canoe on the top of it. Like what, they win this with marble miles or what? You know what I mean? As I rate and rose to the sky, is brought to you by Jay Sizzle, Candace, and Gemini. Catch us on GTV and local access, so drop us an email. As this is my grandfather, I mean Shep. Today we will play for you a song called Lovely May. I will play the violin and he will play the piano. Este programa es un programa especial. Tenemos noticias. Hola amigas y amigos. Este es el segmento noticioso Todas las voces todas, todas las manos todas. Habin wan o wan aksen daman daawdi aasha sharafta le hawda ina gadaawna yo idi lehantin ba. The business of microbrew beer and ale is fairly new to the Portland area. The evening ended with refreshments and a chance to mingle when Portland residents who have produced programs at the station got a chance to talk with those considering doing the same. For more information about getting involved with the Portland Public Access Station, you can contact Arthur Nichols at 775-2900, extension 202. This is Tom Handel for Community Update.